Good morning from day 24. Just starting with a little road walk. Um, got dropped off where I was picked up yesterday. And yeah, we're just walking on the road. There's little white marks on the... <laughs> you can kind of see them on the rails here to tell me to go straight. So hopefully I'm going the right way. Coming up under Interstate 40, which goes to Knoxville and Asheville. And yeah, we're gonna get to Max Patch today, I think. Here's my dilemma. It's gonna start raining tonight. Sounds like more than just rain. So we're gonna get some actual storms. So there's a shelter in like eight miles, which seems kind of silly for me to do. But then I could probably guarantee my space in a shelter and not be in my tent during a thunderstorm. Or I could just say, screw it and hike further and tent and take my chances. So I think I'm gonna go based on the weather in my bod. Um, all right, more road walking. I'm coming under a bridge, just a bunch of semis. No cars behind me. Oh, here we go. It's kind of a stark contrast from walking in the woods. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Some beautiful bird sounds today. New flowers I haven't seen before. Little red ones. Check them out. Just gonna have my first snack, packed out of Clementine. Oh, such a big climb today. It's literally starting off going from about 1,300 feet to about 4,300 feet. So I'm going slow and steady. I'm almost to the 4,300 feet. I probably have about uh, three or four tenths of a mile to get there. I think it's called Snowbird Peak or Snow Peak. Um, so that is check mile, maybe 245, six ish. I've seen two dead mice on the trail this morning. They look really flat. Um, okay, that is all. I'll show you some views if we get some later. Right, just coming up on Snowbird Peak. Let me see if we've got a view. I'm actually not exactly sure what this place is, but oh, there's someone working. I don't want to disrupt. Block the wind here a little bit, but mystery solved. I read the sign. It said it's F FAA air traffic control um, type of station. So that seems like a serious job, and I don't want to disrupt anything happening in that type of whatever job space um yeah my grandpa was an air traffic controller back in the day and my grandma used to work in fire towers so i feel like i'm just revisiting all my grandparents jobs out here <laughs> okay well at least we've made it up and now there'll just be some kind of ups and downs and not just up which is so nice my back is kind of feeling it i don't know dude i'm just feeling out weak today i think i'll stop and eat soon and maybe that'll help okay up lunch a little instead of an everything bagel I did blueberry I'm going back to peanut butter 
Um, so this was the one. I just hadn't eaten this. I still had it in my pack, 180 cows. So the bagels are like 280, 180, 460 calorie. Little snack, lunch. Um, and then the cookies are like over 200 calories, etc., etc. This is good because we got some protein. Um, definitely need some more of that. So tonight I'll probably drink a Carnation's Instant Breakfast, get 13 more grams, and then we'll see what else I've got. We'll go from there. Okay, bye. Okay, pretty small snake again. I don't know if this one is, to be honest. I don't want to get too close. Hold on, let me like see if I can zoom in. Okay, here he is. I don't want to like throw something at him, but I also, I know he's so small. Maybe I'll zoom in so I can see the pattern and look him up on Google. There he is, just a baby. All right, so I just got some water. Of course, the water was like 15 yards from where that snake was. And some of you may watch this and be like, that was a tiny snake or like that snake was not venomous. Like you don't need to worry about anything, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know anything about snakes. I did not grow up in a place that has snakes to be worried about. And when you don't grow up like that, you don't learn. Change hands here. You don't learn, you know, what to watch out for, what's safe, what's unsafe. So it's like, I knew that today was sunny and getting warm. And I know that that's when snakes come out and want to just chill, get warm. And they'll just come right on the trail. So it's a flat, sunny spot. And so I was being super vigilant, which is why I saw him or her. I don't know. And... Um, I feel like if I saw a big fat one that had those colors, I'd be like, okay, that's some scary situation, like death moving around it. But since it was a little one, I don't know, like, do they not get venomous till they like hit puberty in their teenage years? I don't know. So I'm not taking any chances. I will be Googling this. I'm sure by the time I post this, I'll know what the heck I just saw. Um, but yeah, I think, I mean, I'm just being really vigilant and I'm going slow. And I think that's why I've like seen the bear and I've seen two snakes. It's like, I'm just like really watching close because the way I see it is like, if something's gonna take me off trail, it's an injury or like getting killed by some freaking scary animal. So I'm really just on the lookout for both of those things. Otherwise, I should finish this just fine. <laughs> well, that's exciting. I hope that's not old. <laughs> Let's go see. Okay, it's feeling pretty legit. <laughs> so cute. Pringles make fun of me all the time for the shit that I say. Yeah. Because I can literally butcher the English language. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't see these.